what's up guys project x here uh i can't record the cam tears at the same time so i'm using audacity so it might be a little difference in the audio don't pay that in mind but yeah i just i was working on this tutorial basically not really a tutorial but just this project i've been working on for a while now and I figured it might as well I did this for my first tutorial so as I said it's my first so just bear with me but yeah this is a basic animation really um a water but bouncing off a surface in R13 I haven't really seen any tutorials for this so I'm doing one alright here is the animation basically So as you can see the water or the what seems to be water is bouncing off a plain surface so that's pretty cool I can say it's lagging a bit because it's really hardcore animation but yeah so let's get straight to it I'll close off start a new alright so first what we're going to do is create our water so just grab your little cube thing project icon and select our sphere um, select the scale this one minimize so we have a small thing all right uh yeah that's pretty much and then go to um simulate particles emitter all right so we have our emitter and what we're going to do is put a sphere as a child of the emitter by left click dragging it up onto the emitter till you see this icon pointing down right and then we have that now once we play that we'll get that's like that now if you don't want to see that that's really all you do is click here Go into particle, go down, show objects, so you'll see that. Okay. Now you can mess around with this, basically. Just um, create that, but it will get bulgy. Um, that really is not something to pay much mind to because you will see that in a second. But um, change this to 100. This to 100. So we'll get that pretty bulky. Uh, let's see if we could. Yeah. Let's hmm, change the lifetime to 800. I'll increase the speed to about 250. Yes. See how it up. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. And now, uh, hold on, I'll change my um, size to 1280 by 720. Yeah, it's a bigger view. Alright, now what next is we're going to select our um, array tool, this thing right here, the boxes, and select metal ball. Then, just as we made this a child of this, we made the emitter a child of the metal ball. So we have that big, uh, all ugly thing right here. I don't know why it's so ugly, but yeah. So um, let's mess around with this now. The subdivision. Oh, oh that's great. Now the subdivision itself. Hmm, let's see, what was the setting I used for you? Was it that? Hmm, I doubt that. Alright, let me just look back at this for a second. Not really remembering much. Alright, 200 and 5. Uh, Let's close that. We'll go at 2D metal.
Ball, Ninja T200, Segments 2, 5, yeah, that. go into the Sphere and change this to 3, and this to 12, okay, so we have a um, water, big blob type thing. Uh, that's a 10. Alright, yeah, much better. Alright, now we're going to aim this upward by moving the metal ball. Yeah, aim it upwards just a bit by selecting the rotate to that circle thing. And now uh, let's see how much. Okay, not bad, 6 minutes. Alright. Let's get busy. So next, we're going to just create a plane, selecting the objects, and place it about here. Let's yeah, make this a bit bigger. Okay. Move this back a bit. There we go. Next, we're going to click simulate particles and then gravity and place that right about here because we want this to be um water to have like a gravity effect like normal then we're going to copy and paste it again carry it about over here and you will see why i did that in a second next we're going to select the simulate button, particles, and then we're going to select turbulence, which gives it a kind of um, interesting effect. Let everything go into a random direction, basically. And we put the gravity in the middle of the water, I would say, right about here at the beginning. Alright, I'll go back to the start and play and voila it's going through the ground okay now next so let's simulate particles deflector as you see you get this little um, spline looking square don't pay that much attention really what we're going to do now is to fit this little square spline thingy onto the same size of the box itself you're probably wondering why i didn't just uh, maximize the both of them at the same time i probably should have been a better idea or would have been a better idea but anyways let's just scale that up oh that should do it and carry them onto the same level Let's just get a rotate tool adjust it about the same height. around with it more and give it a more realistic effect or whatever but um yeah let's just play that now and let's see what we have and voila we have our bouncing effect type and as you can see the second gravity that we place right here after it bounces it drags it down to give it a really water like effect but um all right so that's that for that Let's now create our little um, color that we want our item to have. So we'll go here, double click, double click it again. Then click transparency. And I normally use about 1.5. Right? Yeah, use that a see-through effect. 
Uh, expect you carry this up to over here. 48. Go back to chance here and see. Where's it cut off? Hmm. I think it's color. No. Transparency. Click texture. Filter. And uh, hold on. And this. Okay. okay. Carry up the hue to about 185, 184. Uh, no, wait. It's the wrong one. Uh, how do I do this back again? Uh, okay. Clear. Hello. Filter. Right. Uh, I'm not so not it. Okay, but well, anyway, you can really check that out later on. Don't really have much time, but just drag that on. And let's see. Let's run that. You have a silver like effect. But you could create a. Uh, other backgrounds like a sky to give it a um, realistic water effect with some lighting and so but yeah that's that for the tutorial thanks for watching leave a like or comment or so any questions and uh, remember to subscribe project x out